in every parish church. It is quite amazing how many layers of history there are to discover. Today I'm at St James's Church in Avebury in Wiltshire, just next to the famous prehistoric stones. And it's likely there was a church on this site since around 705 AD. It was originally made of wood and thatch, but then later rebuilt as stone. And you can see so many wonderful details. There are some small Anglo-Saxon windows here, which originally would have been part of the outer walls before they added the aisles either side. And then in the tower is a Norman font from the early 12th century, which would have originally been brightly colored. And it shows some pretty amazing scenes, including Christ trampling on dragons, which was representative of him trampling on evil and sin. In the south aisle are some medieval tiles dating from the 13th and 14th centuries. And between the south aisle and the chancel is a hagioscope or a squint, which is just a little window built so that the priests could see each other and synchronize the mass. Now, right in the center and the real star feature of this church is this wooden balcony. It is 15th century, a rude loft, and one of the few that survive and originally it would have had enormous crucifix above. Now it was rude screens and rude lofts like this which were removed during the Reformation and the screen below is actually Victorian. Now there's also an oak bell frame from 1636 which is out on display so really it's full of many surprises here. But isn't it incredible just how much history one church has and that each of these churches in pretty much every village and is free just to wander in and look at.